Changes to the Earth's surface refer to the alterations and modifications that occur to the physical features and topography of the planet's land, water bodies, and atmosphere over time. These changes can be a result of natural processes or human activities. In this detailed explanation, we will cover various natural and human-induced factors that contribute to changes in the Earth's surface. Tectonic activity, tectonic plates, which are large sections of the Earth's crust, are constantly moving. The interactions between these plates lead to geological phenomena such as earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and the formation of mountains and oceanic trenches. These processes cause significant changes to the Earth's surface. For example, the collision of tectonic plates can result in the uplift of land, forming mountain ranges like the Himalayas. Erosion Erosion is the process by which weathering and the movement of wind, water, ice, or gravity remove and transport soil, rocks, and sediment from one location to another. Water erosion occurs through the action of rivers, streams, and rainfall, while wind erosion is caused by the movement of air. Erosion can shape the Earth's surface by creating valleys, canyons, and coastal cliffs. The Grand Canyon in the United States is a remarkable example of erosion over millions of years. Deposition. Deposition is the opposite process of erosion, whereby sediment, rocks, and soil are deposited or laid down in new locations. This occurs when the transporting agents, such as rivers or glaciers, lose energy and can no longer carry the sediment. Deposition contributes to the formation of various landforms, such as deltas, alluvial plains, and sand dunes. Deltas, like the Nile Delta in Egypt, are formed when rivers deposit sediment at their mouths. Glacial activity. Glaciers are large masses of ice that slowly move downhill due to their weight. Glacial activity can significantly shape the Earth's surface by eroding rocks and soil and depositing them in new areas. Glaciers can carve out deep valleys, create U-shaped valleys, and leave behind moraines, which are ridges of debris. The Great Lakes in North America were formed by glacial activity during the last ice age. Weathering. Weathering refers to the breakdown of rocks and minerals on the Earth's surface due to exposure to weather conditions, such as temperature changes, precipitation, and chemical reactions. Physical weathering involves the mechanical breakdown of rocks into smaller pieces, while chemical weathering occurs when rocks are chemically altered. Weathering contributes to the formation of soil, which is essential for supporting plant life. Human activities. Human actions have a significant impact on the Earth's surface. Deforestation, for instance, involves the removal of trees and vegetation, leading to soil erosion and changes in local ecosystems. Urbanization and infrastructure development result in the destruction of natural habitats and the alteration of landscapes. Mining operations can cause extensive surface disturbance and the formation of open pits. Additionally, activities like quarrying, land reclamation, and landfills can modify the Earth's surface. Climate change. The Earth's surface is also affected by climate change, which refers to long-term shifts in weather patterns. Rising global temperatures lead to the melting of glaciers and ice caps, resulting in rising sea levels. Coastal areas are particularly vulnerable to increased erosion and inundation. Changes in precipitation patterns can also affect river systems and contribute to flooding or drought, impacting the Earth's surface and ecosystems. Natural disasters. Natural disasters such as earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, tsunamis, Hurricanes, and landslides can cause rapid and dramatic changes to the Earth's surface. These events can result in the formation of new landforms or alter existing ones. For example, volcanic eruptions can create new islands, while landslides can reshape mountainsides. It is important to note that these processes often interact with one another, and the Earth's surface is shaped by a combination of multiple factors over long periods of time. The dynamic nature of our planet ensures that changes to the Earth's surface will continue to occur, both naturally and as a result of human activities. Thank you for watching this video on changes to the Earth's surface.
I hope you found the content informative and engaging. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more educational content, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. By subscribing, you'll stay updated with our latest videos and support our channel's growth. Thank you once again for your support.